Welcome to the CED Laboratory. I'm Mark Marcelletti with CED. Today we're going to be doing some struvite testing with you. As many of you know, struvite is a humongous issue in the wastewater treatment industry, and let's cover that briefly. What is struvite? Struvite, or magnesium ammonium phosphate hexadrate, is a phosphate mineral that crystallizes as white to yellowish or brownish white pyramidal crystals. It's referred to as MAP when there is a mole to mole ratio of magnesium, which can be found in soil, seawater, as well as drinking water, ammonia, which is broken down from the urea in wastewater, and phosphate, which is found in soaps, detergents, and food. Below here, you can see some picture examples of struvite within a pipe, valve, and elbow. Common symptoms of struvite are that you can physically see struvite crystallization on plant pipeline. The flow slows down or is restricted. There's an increase in pipeline pressure. Pipelines are vibrating, rattling, or shaking due to restrictive flow. Digester overflow box backing up. A drop in dewatering cake percentage. And you can physically see the struvite crystallization on external surfaces of centrifuges. What is EF071? EF071 is a biodegradable, non-corrosive, organic acid that quickly and efficiently works to break down and dissolve the toughest hard mineral scales. It excels in the removal of existing struvite buildup and can inhibit the growth of new formation. It quickly and efficiently dissolves struvite, is the most cost-efficient solution to implement, is safe and easy to apply, and is designed to effectively remove struvite, but can also be used to treat calcium carbonate and vivianite as well. Its HMIS is Health 1, Fire 0, Reactivity 0, and PPE is B, which means all that is required is proper safety glasses, clothing, and gloves. We've got three individual samples of struvite weighed out. These are one gram samples of struvite, and as you can see, the color is a grayish white. We've already got a product made up. We've got a 1 to 1, 2 to 1, and 3 to 1 water to product ratio. We are reading the pH of the product and the water made up, which is 2.7. Now we are ready to put the struvite samples into the beakers with the made up product. And we are going to turn these machines on. These are magnetic stirs, and they've got some magnets inside of the product with the struvite that are going to actually rotate once the machines are turned on and this is to simulate the recirculation of the product that would be taking place inside the pipes of the plant. We're setting the timer now for 15 minutes and at the end of the 15 minutes we're going to take pH readings of the product as well as take a look at how far along we are and if we get to 4.9 pH or higher we need to add more product to ensure that it's effective. Now it's time to review the results. The first sample, the one to one, has completely dissolved the one gram of struvite in 15 minutes. We've also taken pH readings and the pH is up to 2.9, which means we have plenty of product left to treat more struvite. Second sample, the two to one, again has completely dissolved the struvite in 15 minutes. And the third sample also has completely dissolved the struvite. For more information or to have CED test EF071 in your plant, contact us on our website. We hope you enjoyed our video.